Hello boys and girls. I hope that you're having a terrific Thursday. Today for writing, you're going to be writing an imagined narrative. Whenever we write an imagined narrative, we are writing a story that came from our imagination. So whenever we write a personal narrative, it's something true and it's a memory that happened to us or that we were, um, or that we experienced. Whenever we write an imagined narrative, it's something that we make up. It can be realistic, um, like it could be pretending um, that you did something that you haven't gotten to do yet, maybe that you want to do, um, like going on a vacation somewhere or um, playing a game for a sport that you aren't big enough to play yet. Or it could be something um, with more um, with more drama added to it um, and maybe some more some more elements that we see in fiction writing like you could write a story about um going to outer space and seeing aliens or you could write an imagined narrative about about swimming with mermaids um or being a superhero today i want you to write an imagined narrative of your choice Whenever you write an imagined narrative, there are still things that you need to include in your narrative, just like you do when you write a personal narrative. You need to make sure that you're still using your best spelling and punctuation. You still need to be writing in complete sentences and you need to check your capital letters in those sentences. Um, you still need to make sure that you start off with a good beginning that shows either an action, talk, or tells the setting of your story. You still need to have at least three events that have a lot of detail using those five senses that we talked about. Um, you still need to use transition words in your story and you still need to write a closing that tells how your main character feels. So today you're going to be writing an imagined narrative um, and it is completely up to you what you want to write about. Um, I want you to share it with me in Seesaw whenever you're finished. Um, and in Seesaw, just like we did with our personal narrative, I read aloud the, um, the narrative writing checklist. So you can check your work on that before you share it. That is all. And I hope that you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.